Hello, you guys. Happy Thursday. I, we're going to talk about pirate ship today because it's been a while. Oops. I didn't cook the right thing. It's been a while and this makes my life so much easier. Um, I am not someone who wants to stand in line for forever at the freaking post office. Like, I'm just not. Um, and so I use pirate ship. I'm like, you know, I'm a homeschool mom. We're busy. We're always going, going. I don't have time to stand in line for forever with three kids at the post office. Okay. So when I'm getting ready to send out a package, I go ahead and I just like re-upped everything on Amazon. I go ahead and I order like little poly mailers whoop, like this. Super simple. They're cheap. I like pink, so I pick pink. Um, and then when I want to send out my VIP packages or when I want to. So for me, I do Scentsy Club. Scentsy Club people are my VIP people. I want those people treated like gold, okay? Because when I package up their stuff, I want to go ahead and I want to post it on all the things so people can see how I am spoiling my customers, okay? Um, so pay attention to... When Whitney shares her mail out stuff on um, her stories, Chloe, me, Katrina, if you see any of those people, when they share their customer happy mail, pay attention because that's how you should be sharing yours. It does not have to be elaborate. It doesn't have to be something crazy, something huge, something big, okay? But you do need to be doing something to make sure that your customers feel appreciated. So a thank you card is always a good thing. I get mine done at Walmart. This just has our family picture on it. Um, and I do a Scentsy Club Flyer, another one, it kind of looks like this, and a join one. And they each have QR codes on it, so if anybody's interested, they can go right to that um, page on my website, okay? So, everybody gets a thank you card when I, they order in the month, and then I usually send a scent circle also, and then the scent of the month. If they're brand new, they just get a scent of the month sticker on the back of this with a handwritten note. Um, I do everybody who's ordered within 60 days, so if it's the previous month, right? Like I finished up for July. So if I'm doing June people, those people get a scent of the month flyer with a sample. Um, and that's pretty much all they get. They might get some, oh, I did the moments collection this time. I did the moments collection and felt and I stuck it in there also. Um, and then I send an email to my people who haven't ordered within 90 days. And I'm just like, hey, just so you know, if you want mail outs, you gotta order again, it's been 90 days. So that's how I do that. But when I'm doing my Scentsy Club people, um, right now, one of my big things that's been kind of on my heart is to give back to customers, um, especially if I'm following up like I should be or I notice that they're just having a really rough go of it. I had one girl who had COVID last month and she almost died and I had another customer who lost both of her parents to COVID last month. And if y'all have been around, you know COVID's near and dear to my heart because I had it, it was awful, and we lost a lot of family members from COVID. So anyways, um, so I put together a thank you, or not a thank you, just a sweet little package with Scentsy Soap. It's got like a little hair tie and a dollar mask from Target. Um, and I just put a card in there and I'm like, hey, I just want you to know I'm thinking about you. I know July was super rough. So that's what I have in these two packages, okay? And then I've started something new with my hosts. Instead of waiting until the end of the month, right the week before their party, I'm sending them a tiny pack. Again, nothing big. This has got Scentsy Soap. It's got um, hand lotion, a sample of hand lotion in there. And then it's got one of these with all the new releases scents on there and the scent of the month sample. sample. That's all it has in there. So this will go to my host. Okay, that's what I'm doing. So... When I get ready to do all this, I go to my contacts on my workstation, I type in their names, and then I'm gonna be able to pull up their address. So I also pull up pirateship.com at the same time, okay? I have this, it's from Amazon, I think it's like 20 bucks, but it weighs my packages and I literally just go in there. I know these are six by nine envelopes, so I'm gonna type six by nine envelope with their information, right, where they live, six by nine envelope, then I'm gonna put in how much it weighs, into pirateship.com and it's gonna give me a total, okay? So then I can go ahead, I can total it up and I know already I'm just gonna print it out and I'm gonna slap it on my mailer. And then I can sit here and I can schedule a pickup from USPS. They come to my house on the doorstep and they just pick up all of your packages at once. They did it yesterday for me. Or I can just go drop them off in um, the thing, the drawer that you put all the packages in at UPS, okay? So, 
I'm doing it now, so that's why I thought of it. But Pirate Ship is also cheaper than the local post office, okay? And if you, like, overestimate or you're like, oh, man, it's so close to being the next number when you weigh your packages, they will send, they will credit your account, which is bomb. And it's free to sign up, okay? So make it easy on yourself because, like, seriously, who wants to stand in that post office line? Every post office I go to, it's freaking long. Like, no thank you. All right, so, and then you can search previous labels too. So I would show you guys, but it has all my customers' addresses on it. So I can put in, um, if I do, I know these two packages have the same exact thing in them. They're my thinking about you packages to customers, treating them like gold, right? Um, they have the same thing. I can duplicate the shipment and then just put the other person's name in there and then I don't have to do any other work. Like, I don't have to reweigh it. I don't have to, I duplicate it. It's just the same thing, okay? So that's super helpful when you've got, um, VIPs, I had seven Sensi Club subscribers last month, so I put seven packages together. They all got the same exact thing, so I was able just to duplicate that shipment and change it. And since they've been Sensi Club subscribers, when I put their name in there, it automatically pulls up all of their information, so I'm not just typing it over and over again, okay? Super simple, pirateship.com, okay? Um, check it out, look around. Set your packages outside. Just remember if you do have actual wax samples and you didn't dip your wax in felt, your wax samples will melt if it's super hot, like Texas, super hot. So just remember that when you're setting your packages out on the porch. But other than that, that is it. Pirate Ship, utilize it. It's also super helpful when you have, um, like when you have new teammates and if you wanted to send them a new teammate packet instead of like an email or if you want to send your teammates, if you do a challenge with your team and you want to send them goodies, Pirate ship, pirate ship, pirate ship, pirate ship. It is cheaper, it is faster, it is easier on you, okay? So check that out and y'all let me know if you have any questions. All right, bye guys.